Hello everyone, my name is Freya, and welcome to a new series of Modded Stardew Valley. I've wanted to do this for a while, um, but I just haven't found the right mod pack. And recently on Nexus Mods, they have started showcasing uh, mod packs made by users. And I found this one that was, I think it's called Cottage Core Stardew Valley. Um, it has like like 70 mods or something. So, uh, but it just looked, it made Stardew Valley even cuter than it already is. And I thought uh, this would be a great opportunity to just kind of have a chill, fun little time without any more rambling by me. Uh, let's start. Now, normally I would choose the beach farm, which is my favorite, but this does have Stardew Valley expanded. Uh, so the grandpa's farm is what we're gonna go for. I think we're just gonna name it like Periwinkle. Cause I, I like the sound of that. On to the character creation. Okay, I think I like how this character looks. I'm also gonna do, I think, remixed uh, bundles and mine rewards. Cause, you know, I've played this game so much I like uh, changing up. <laughs> okay, that took forever to load in. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Um, first of all, I'm not gonna greet anyone. <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll meet people eventually, but I just don't I don't I don't feel like it. Okay, we've got a cute house. Let's see how the farm looks. Yes, I love this. I, I the mods are are mainly just to make it look really cute. Uh, we got kind of the medieval house going on. Uh, the inside looks very cute as well. I like how they've changed the the textures of all of the wood and everything. The trees. The trees look the same. I'm not sure if they're supposed to look different, but they kind of look the same. But I, I don't want to waste much time, so we're just gonna gather some materials here and clear an area for a farm. And our tools also look kind of broken down um, instead of... Ah! A frog! Instead of looking how they usually do. But it is <laughs> difficult uh, for me to tell what is what in the, in the hot bar with these two looking really close to each other. I also want to get some woods so that I can build like a cute little fence. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to just make things. You know, norm normally playing Stardew Valley, I I try to be really efficient and stuff. But I want to have a good variety of things in my garden, and um, I want it to most importantly look really good. So I think that's my aim this time. What in the world is that? Oh, the sap looks so cool. It looks really shiny. Okay, I've almost got this cleared out, and I haven't used that much energy, which is good. Alright, we've got a good space cleared out. I'm gonna start, I think, hoeing from here. Leaving some room around the edges. Don't come at me for how poorly I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this. Okay. I also need to make a chest. I'm gonna put this right there, I think. I did use up all of my wood for that. I wonder how many trees I can cut down. Oh, I do have to water things too. I'm gonna probably run out of energy. <laughs> and we have those two spots that are just undone there. That's okay. It's a work in progress. We will figure things out as we go. I'm gonna do a double pathway, but uh, that's all that I made right now. I don't think I have enough to connect it, but I want it to connect here. Um, and I might make it out of something else later, we'll see. We'll water until I run out of energy. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't want to run out of energy. I'm just gonna go to bed. Alright, day two. <laughs> Only those things are, uh, have, have grown, but it's okay. We'll just make sure to water everything first thing. And I think today I'm gonna venture out into the town. We gotta go get our fishing line, fishing rod. I really like what they did at the bus stop here, it's very cute. Oh, are those the little dandel or daffodils? Yeah. That's really cool. 
Those look way more like daffodils than the other ones do. <laughs> I also have a mod that uh, adds... Gives everyone their own garden. Which I really like because, you know, for a town that... Seems like it'd be full of people who farm. Oh, it's not open yet. Hello, Gus. Did you get... I feel like... I feel like he looks different. Yeah, I think... You don't normally look like that. Of course, we have the little dog. Dusty. Everything here just looks very cute. I really like it. It's Morris's birthday today. I'm lucky today, and it's gonna be raining tomorrow. I like these uh, mods that make life easier. Did they change the fishing at all? Do I have the easier fishing mod? No, I don't. I have to suffer. But it's okay. Sunfish. Not bad. Can I sell it to- Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, I think these are the things that you can dig up like this. Yeah! But for some reason they're like little four-leaf clovers. Ooh. This is something I can go to the museum with. Uh, let's go over to- I know Pierre's is open, but I want to go to the museum so I can, um... Yes, I'd like to give you a starfish. Put it dead center. <laughs> oh, and this is one of the new characters. Olivia. Cauliflowers and potatoes with the rest because that does make the most money. We got Emily. Ooh, Emily's looking good. Okay, she looks pretty much the same. Some people like are really changed. Like Emily looks way different. I'm going to sell the clam and the cockle and the sunfish. This is gonna be kind of an uneven <laughs> garden uh, over here. Oh well. I probably should have thought about that before I started planting. Or even when I started hoeing. And then maybe one there. I'm not sure how that looks. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, I'm also almost out of energy, so I'm not gonna do anything else. Uh, maybe I'll talk to people at the saloon. What is this? I feel like this wasn't in here before. Crafted in Grampleton. Oh, there's Shane. I haven't talked to Shane yet. Shane is really annoying. I married Shane in my first playthrough of Stardew Valley, but that was back when I was in a bad relationship and I had no idea what I was doing. And I thought that Shane's behavior was normal. Oh right, this is uh, Sophia? Sophie? Sophia, yeah. Hello, Sophia. Sophia is who I married in my first run of the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. 10 out of 10. She's great. She still sits in one of my saves. Although I lost the mod pack I was using when I married her, so I can never play that again without corrupting the game. <laughs> Alright, today was productive. Uh, who else do I need to get to know here? Oh, I can track them on the map! Whoa! So yeah, I feel like I still... I st yeah, I'm still missing a lot of people here, so... I'll make sure to visit them when I can. Wow, it is so dark in this corner. <laughs> so my plants are watered and I don't have to worry about that. Maybe we should just continue looking around and talking to people? I think I'll clear out my farm a little bit more first. Just, you know, do a little bit every day. Eventually it'll be completely clear. looks a lot nicer. Obviously, if I move down at all, there's a lot more to work through, but I feel pretty accomplished for today. I also leveled up in mining and got some coal. Senecio? Senecio and to forbium. That just looks like a cactus to me. And then there's just fuzzy plant. Wow, look at all these- look at all these plants! That's crazy. We'll have to do that. I want some glowing mushrooms on my farm. I have a few geodes, so I'm gonna take them to Gus and have them break them open. Whoa! This is like a whole castle! That's pretty cool. 
What's it look like inside? Oh, I mean, fairly similar. Clay, that's great. Wow! 20 copper ore, that's pretty good. And then clay again. Okay, let's explore over here a little. I see a daffodil up here that I could collect. I think there's something over here that we can go to, like a farm or something. Yeah, it's like a little farm. I don't think I can actually go in there though. Garden has been used in a long time. Wow. Here's something I can make at home on time after going all the way over here. This is huge! How far does this go up? Look at the map. Where am I? I'm like over here. You can't even see me anywhere. Where? St Sophia, what are you doing up there? Does this just go up endlessly? Well, there's a path here. I'm still confused, uh... Oh. Oh. Out of service until next season. That's too bad. I would really like a train ride home. Is that where, like, uh, you can teleport? With the little teleporty things? <gasps> rice shoots! I'd love to grow some rice. What in the world is this? By appointment only. Atlantis W. Who the heck is that? This is a lot of just open field. I don't like it. Feeling uneasy. Well, this is this was a strange experience, but I think I'm gonna go now. Well, I think I'm gonna plant these rice shoots by the water. I'm not sure how close it has to be to the water. I'm pretty sure it has to be right next to it. Okay, that was another productive day. Level 1 mining now. Oh cool, now we have the... Yeah, no, I think we just got the... 20 copper ore and 25 stone. I definitely have both of those. Sweet! This is a really cute furnace. I really like this. Look at that! That's adorable! Sadly, I don't have any more ore to cook. Um, but that's okay. Let's water all of our plants. Alright, who haven't we met? We haven't met George, who's probably in his house down here, right? Or no, they live up here. Oh, Alex's room looks a lot better here. I like this a lot. Also, his room is, like, massive compared to theirs. I still don't know who that is. Uh, Harvey, right? He should just be over here. There's Maru. Why is she... Oh, I think those are glasses. I thought she was blushing. And Harvey. Are you Olivia? Are you... This is Victor. Let's go up here to meet... Um, Sebastian and some others. Am I just meeting everyone by saying hi? I'm forced to talk to everyone in the town. And that's why they feel sympathetic towards me. Uh, Sebastian doesn't leave his room until later, does he? He looks a little different though. I think they changed his character model. What the heck is that? It's like a little shriveled up thing. Oh, it's a horseradish. So this is the Fairhaven farm where, uh... Who'd I just meet? Andy. This is where Andy lives and uh, works. So that's cool. Really, my goal here is to be able to track everyone on the map. So I can see where they are for my own selfish needs. Looks like everyone's at their own house, really. That's too bad. Well, I guess that means it's time for me to head home. Today, the traveling merchant is in town, and I don't have good or bad luck. Oh, I forgot to sell some of the stuff that was in my inventory. Oh well. I'm gonna put this away. This is for the spring foraging bundle. This is also for the spring foraging bundle. Everything else I can sell. My parsnips are ready to harvest. I think I 
might plant some jazz flowers. I really like those. Open your doors, Pierre. Okay, I think I'm gonna get some jazz seeds and then kale. Oh, you know, maybe that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> Why are these so expensive? I just, I sold them back at a bad price. I'm really dumb. I guess parsnips are probably what I'm gonna get. I can't get 16 things. Uh, I made a bad choice there. Let's go fishing a little bit, see if I can get some money so that I can buy more seeds. Okay, so I have nine. I need seven more. It is what it is. I miscalculated a lot, I think. Nice! Now I can make a scarecrow. It looks like it has a coconut on its head. And today I think I can finally go into the mines. Maybe that was yesterday, but either way we can go in today and I can finally get something more than just plants. Oh right, I forgot with the Stardew Valley expanded, uh, the mines are way further away. So you have to keep in mind that there's probably another 30 minutes of walking than it normally is. So I'll make sure to leave the mines way before I need to. <laughs> Let's just make a simple goal of making it down to the next elevator level. Angry slime? Great! Didn't even have to mine anything. What the heck is that? That's what quartz looks like? It's huge! And we made it to level 5. Sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty low energy now, so I don't think we're gonna make it to floor 10, but maybe I can at least- oops! Kill these slimes. And get a little bit more copper. Nice. Maybe we will make it to level 10. I was a little bit skeptical, but... Yeah, unless we hit it the next- there we go. I was about to say, unless we hit it soon, I don't think it'll be possible. Just one more. We're at 17. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Oh, and this- these always have- Oh, oh, what is that? Topaz! That's way more important than stone. Oh, there's the next ladder! Let's just kill these slimes. Here we go. And we got a femur! We're gonna fight with a bone now. Okay, I think I'm gonna sell this crab. And perhaps the quartz. Geode, I'm obviously gonna keep until I know what's inside. Alright, day seven. This is gonna be my last day for uh, this video. This poor little cauliflower all in the corner by itself. Oh, it tells you how long it takes. That's nice. My goal today is to break open these geodes. Oh, great! Now we have the community center open. Hello, Gus. Ooh! Dwarvish Helm. That's- I like that design. That's really cool. I'll organize things once I have a little bit more. Well, if you like this series or the idea of this series so far, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any ideas about what I should do on my farm or anything, drop that in a comment below as well. I'm gonna try to do this, uh, once a week, maybe once every other week, so... I will see you the next time I post this. Farewell.